Yeah. We back at it with another one, man. This is this is aimed at the uh the IRL streaming community. I'm trying to see what's going on. I be seeing a couple of these niggas on like Twitter and shit like man, fuck it. We're gonna get straight into the video. I'll talk while I'm in this month or so we have seen these in real life streamers come out in droves. I ain't gonna lie, we're all red and throwing the arm over Crip Mac. And my son is a full on crip, like heavy crip. Like, I'm talking about this nigga puts the C pause and C Mac. You know what I mean? I mean, a crip. This nigga is not to be horsed and around really with. He's a lot of popularity on he the about, Oh, this nigga bitch you. I have to say, they're amongst the cockiest group of people we've ever come across on this channel. Yeah, free C Mac, too. I already booked or whatever like he was. Oh, tough guys. I'm going to wish that on my hope. Of course, we saw Neon finally get what he deserves with the Dana White situation while also getting checked a couple of times. Oh, yeah, that's what process. I'm talking about. He's now a dude, like though. These clowns are going to be humbled one by one. What's his name? Him, too. He was a little, a little funny money, too. Them. Funny and one cat. of the people we have been talking about since this whole Yo, didn't this nigga Foozy slap one of these little niggas? Yo, I ain't gonna lie. Look, right? I feel like I'm gonna say, I feel like this has been said. I don't give a fuck. Let me make this shit. I don't give a fuck how much breach you got, bro. If you corny, like, the money is not really gonna help that. So you need to do some self, some soul searching. And some inner readings within yourself to figure that shit out. Because you get the money, you still corny, my nigga. And I get it, everybody not from the same shit or whatever the case may be. But, bro, some of the shit I be seeing be making a guy me cringe. Jack Doherty, and I, like, the content creator it who works, I guess. But at the same time, y'all niggas is putting yourself in Apparently danger, this man. guy at one time went on to the Dr. Phil show when he was acting like a delinquent. Oh, and over time, he has increasingly he like, become... How old is this little nigga? I'm over here talking about something. He's like 14. He's a kid. I'm a bigger and bigger tool as the clout and the internet money go straight to his head. I mean, we knew this guy was morally bankrupt when he was out here playing spin the bottle with the- Wait, what the- Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're gonna address that in two seconds. What the fuck is in this nigga ear? And why is he just- My nigga, get me off this imagery. His head. I mean, we knew this guy was morally bankrupt when he was out here playing spin the bottle with the island boys for clout. And for the most part, he's only gotten worse. I'm sure a lot of you guys remember when he was going around the mall harassing people, getting all nah, up in their face. Oh, I did see this. I did. This is what I'm talking about. Shit on Twitter and shit. Like, nah. Yo, you know you're only doing this in certain places. What? Well, probably got you to must, yo, you got to be paying. He's a dweeb. You got to be paying your security some top breach. Or you're going to get these niggas hurt, like, badly. And I'm not even talking from, like, no gangster standpoint, no shit like that. I'm just saying, like, the energy you put out there in the world, that shit is going to come back to you tenfold. He's doing these in places he knows he's going to be good. If he goes to a place like Jersey, New York, Philly, Atlanta, even Houston doing shit like this, this nigga better have FBI with him or like Secret Service or some shit because niggas is going to hurt him bad, bro. And I'm saying that from like strictly like, yo, bro, surroundings. Understand like having awareness because just doing this shit for the sake of doing this, what, what do you gain? Like outside of clicks and shit, like, what do you gain, bro? You going to get yourself hurt, bro. What if somebody, like, you do this shit to somebody who got, who, you got to realize, too, like, I'm saying, like, you do this shit to somebody who feel as though, like, yo, their life is hard, like, they was just about to unalive themselves and they don't mind taking you with them type shit. Like, nigga could be having a bad day and they could be in this mall thinking about the next, how, which is the closest and the highest bridge that they could jump off. And then you just in their way and they just like, well, I might as well leave a legacy. You know what I mean? Like, not even trying to be, like, funny, but, like, I, like, I be thinking about shit like this, bro. Niggas have bad days, and they will crash out. Yeah. <laughs> and, of course, whenever there's a situation where a physical altercation might yeah, occur, you bring one in. of his multiple bodyguards steps in to try and defend him. And what if he now, violates I have to the say, bodyguard? This guy has just about the most punchable face I've ever seen. Kid, yes, though. that is foreshadowing. What if... And above that, he's also built like the average 13-year-old suburban white boy. Yeah, I mean, let's say kid, this bro. guy probably weighs a cool what 95 pounds. Though, and really it's like, I don't even know you. how that head stays up on that neck. I have to think it's, you know, weighing at least 70 of those and 90 pounds. Just, this of course, there was also like the time that he pressed the security guard at dude, the mall. Bro? And of course, his personal job? security had to jump in and save him during that situation Word. as well. And the you, and the you, oh... This is you crazy. Touch him. I didn't touch Come him. On. Yes, you did. I didn't touch We're him. doing the same job. Six. You don't touch him. 
the mic because he put it in my face. And Jack is obviously not That's new not to crazy, this. Bro. Here is a clip of him from a couple of years back already harassing people in a local Walmart. Tell somebody to talk to us, bro, what? before something happens. Oh, I don't want nothing to happen to me. I'm just saying. Okay, we'll just you need to get out the okay, store. Okay, okay, oh, he okay, punched him, the Walmart employee? Sorry. Why are you punching him? He was doing Okay. Nah, he looked like he was. Look at him, son. This nigga look like Santa Claus' uh, uh, brother, like the evil twin or some shit, boy. That's my evil twin, evil twin, evil twin. Let's get it. Like he looked like one of them niggas, bro. You, son, first of all, you standing on business for Walmart is crazy. Walmart don't give a fuck about you. Don't take you punch this nigga, you camera. about to go to jail mm -hmm. for it. Yes, I, I doubt I'm fifteen. Oh, he's fifty. I told y'all this nigga's a kid, bro. He punched, he yeah, really punched him out? Go to jail. You, re you respect me. All right, and you respect me. Oh, oh hey! <laughs> Yo, he cooked it on this thing. <laughs> it's not funny, but it's funny, though. That's what I'm saying, though. It's the kind of energy you put out there, my nigga. You brought this. I get it. The Walmart nigga crashed out for his job, and he's probably going to jail or whatever, getting sued or whatever the case may be. You can't be a Walmart employee putting your hands on a 15-year-old kid, nigga. That's a lawsuit. <laughs> Right or wrong, whatever the kid did, nigga. You, it's a, unless the nigga came in there with a gun and was trying to shoot shit. And he was defending the spot or whatever, which is still crazy, but whatever. Niggas do it. You're losing it, bro. Ricky! Ricky! Ri oh! Ricky! He told you call him Ricky! Ricky, when I catch you, Ricky! Ricky, when I catch you, Ricky! Ricky, when I catch you, Ricky! It's up. Let's do it. I'm going to go all the way up. Like, so I guess dickhead. before he turned 18, <laughs> that used to be his excuse when he would go out in public and act like a jackass. Of course. He's like, oh, you can't touch me. I'm still a yeah, minor. Still a minor but now it. this new security blanket that he has is an actual security team. Painful Here's issue. another clip where Jack goes up to some guys at a college party and starts getting in one of their faces. What? Yo, just don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Well, you got two security guards. Don't record me. I just tried to hang out. It was my boy. Dude, dude, dude. Listen, come here. Hey, yo, y'all niggas not close talking about some come here. If he keeps recording, I'm going to have to break the camera. I don't care. You're going to get kicked out of your school and you're going to have to watch your back. Is it drama? This is some white kid shit. Like, not even being, like, not being funny. Like, why niggas talking like this? Is there drama? Like, you heard him? Yo, Drewski make these shit smack funny because this is really how frat niggas move, bro. The hat to the dad, dad hat to the back, the cut shirts, no t-shirts. What the fuck are they? Oh, no. yeah, bro, don't even fight I gotta me, say, bro. this is the most white frat boy energy I've Facts. seen in a very long time. Talking about, oh, you better not do anything because I'm gonna sue you. My daddy's gonna get you expelled. Look you guys, at the, I look at the at scenery. First, you guys want to act like cool. You're not cool. Hey, you guys are in school. Yo. Hey, school is not cool. Hey, yo, What's what are we promoting? Stay in school, kids. Fuck what he talking about. Stay in school. Hey, I get it. <laughs> This has to be one of the funniest things I've ever seen, telling someone what's up as if you want to fight them while you're standing between your two yeah, nah, massive you... security guards. Pulse, I mean, what do you really that. expect someone to do in this situation? Word, word. Just start throwing punches and get their ass absolutely nah, stomped out? Kids, like, I promise you, if this was even a 1v1 situation, Jack <laughs> would not be talking all that shit. You guys shouldn't agree, drink if it makes you angry, then. Angry drunks, sure. Like, to Grr. me, it's like a chihuahua trying to start shit with a pack of some much bigger dogs. And then when the dogs come and try and chase him down back into his backyard, all of a sudden, he he unleashes his Rottweiler friends waiting for. Gers, Click that link crazy. down below and take better care of yourself today. Here, Jack apparently tried to use a fake ID to get into a club, and, and then, then he gets all butt hurt when the security tells him he's not coming back in and to not use his face for content. Yo, don't record me. Am I bugging or is that is that not fraud? I'm not trying to case niggas up, but why would you even post yourself like? I get it, content, but content to the point you're doing elite, like documenting yourself doing illegal shit. It's telling, and not only telling, but you're telling on yourself, and you have a platform, so you're spreading it. Like it's just too, it's too much, bro. He's not thinking. Yeah, he's definitely on that type of time. Wait, I can't hear that last part. If you use these content, it's not gonna go the way you think it's gonna go. So I advise you to walk away, all right? Don't use me as content. Mm, nice. The content you're going to get is going to be a lot, a lot different, right? So please step away. Thank you. I appreciate it so much, all right? I advise you to walk away. Yeah, my son, yeah, his security pulled up like, yeah, let's dip. This is what I'm saying, though. You run into shit like you...
put this energy out and you run into shit like this, bro. It don't make sense. Like, don't even do shit like this. Bro. Well, I was just, I was just getting pizza. And you see, his security guard is like, Jack, we better fuck off. Facts. I mean, when their they security know, is say, out niggas here know who to mess your with, security, niggas know how to play you better with. know how to act or you're both going to get that beat down. Once again, I advise you to leave alone, right, buddy? Right. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. That's crazy. He really should walk by him one more time. Oh. So he's essentially just become that annoying ass housefly that won't go the fuck away. Here's another clip of him just being a public nuisance to two older guys just trying to enjoy their day. This is girl and his sister. We got out of there, motherfuckers. Let's go. Watch your language. There's kids around here. I didn't say any curse words. What I I say. Just watch your language. What I say. You got a stupid shirt on over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shirt, your kids bro? can't read, though. Hey, yo. <laughs> nah, these niggas be violent. Your kids can't read is mad funny, though. Yeah. Your that kids can't read. That was funny, though. That was funny. And then standing around telling him again, like, them niggas dumb. They can't read. Can I? <laughs> I'm sure your kids me. watch. Right, you, get away from you me. You started talking to me, buddy. Get away from uh, me. Uh, 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 you get away from me. Now I ain't even gonna lie to you. Look, right? I'm not with violence. You feel me? I push love, peace, and all that. Son, first of all, you walked in my vicinity and you stop. All right? My kids right here. And then the security stops. I ain't even gonna lie to you. I feel like... Logically would say don't do nothing, but... I feel like you've now entered my realm. I'm, I can say whatever I want. It's free country. Just like how you said, whatever you said. You didn't have to walk up to me. Whatever the case may be. I get it. Niggas kind of added to that interaction. But, bro, you're too close to me and my kids. And now I feel like we're unsafe. I'm cranking it on both of y'all. I'm not even going to lie to you. Probably not the kid. Probably not the white dude because he looks like a kid. But this grown man right here, unfortunately, he might have to catch this. Because you stepped and you stepped to me and my kid. Like, I don't know, son. I don't know, like, whether it even been my kid or not. If this was my, my little brother and my little cousin, like, I'm pushing them behind me. Like, yo, back the fuck up, because this is crazy. This Am I bugging? And let me know. Let me know in the comments if I'm bugging, bro. Please, because I'd be wanting to know. Of course, the running theme continues of someone having to step in between him and someone else who he's creating an altercation with. Obviously, an idiot like this is also just looking for attention wearing something how much like that that says, security you is, bro. They risking it. And this is where Jack gets his first little taste I, of his it's own medicine. It's an interesting thing, too. My son only has a black... Watch your kids. Go black, walk away. Big ball. I mean, black... Oh, oh, you got crazy on? Hey, 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 hey. My son only had a black like security guard. Oh, that's his and you gotta feel bad. My son backdoored like him. Who are literally just out here minding their own business. No All he told him was, "Hey, dude, watch your language. You know, I have kids out here with Facts. me." I mean, I won't it's lie. If you're agreeing to be this idiot security guard, to me, you're pretty much just as big of a clown as I him. Say and that, here's I the say clip that. you guys have been waiting for: as Jack was out on the street talking shit like he always does. Only this time his security was not quick enough and he actually does receive the Johnny Somali treatment. Jolly Somali. Yeah, that's fine. We're cool. Yeah, yeah. Oh, crazy. Oh, 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 pop him again. Yo, what the Damn, cousin. Yo, y'all be safe out there, man. Just, just stop putting this kind of energy out there, man. Boy, niggas get hurt like you know what i mean it's not worth it bro because even if you stop like if you stop now think hopefully nobody gonna want to like you put in this kind of energy to what like to what like rappers be kind of doing like somewhat some of these niggas be antagonizing like the other sides of they beef or whatever just antagonizing niggas so then now when they run into niggas outside of the music or whatever that's when niggas want to mess with them or try to rob them or do something because you done put this persona out of yourself that like you basically are untouchable niggas can't you know what i mean and everybody can be touched bro anybody and everybody in this world can be touched so just move like come on son move like you know what i'm saying with a purpose not just out here doing this kind of shit bro so you're gonna get hurt and then now it's gonna be like i never did nothing to nobody and it's like nah you kind of brought you kind of brought that a little bit at the very least but let me know how y'all feel about this, man. Like, comment, subscribe, and share this shit while Abuela and Thea. We out, though, man.